Hello developers, welcome to your favorite channel IVMS. Today I'll be showing you how to build a how, how to simplify your life by using feed to create a React React app with Tailwind CSS. So remember Tailwind is our most popular CSS framework and React is one of the most popular libraries. So today for make sure that you have this following tools inside your inside your, your computer, we have got VS Code which is our web edit of choice you can use any, uh, any editor but i recommend vs code make sure that you have installed node.js and make sure that you have got to fight for development saver so this is a very simple step what i'm going to do is that i've got this empty folder the code project so i'm going to drag it it's our working project into visual studio code then after that one i'm going to ma maximize my screen then let me come here and run a new terminal Now, what I'm going to do, I'm first of all to make sure that my folder is list by typing list. You can see that it's list, let's clear. Then let's type the command for is to make sure that you have npm create space fight at latest. And you type in your project name. I'm going to give it the project name app. Then make sure that you space in, then you say dash dash then dash dash template to make sure that this is a template that we want and then you you, you type react so that was we are giving it up so press enter now you can see life has been simplified we now have got a boilerplate of react today there we are so what i'm going to do like as i've been instructed we need to say cd we need to come right at the bottom we're now navigating to press say cd up then make sure that you type list to make sure that you got the list of the years there we, we've got it now we are going to install re, as you can see from the last command it's saying after doing that you do npm install so we're going to install tailwind and other dependencies so i'm just going to say go to tailwind docs and here we are we were going to install tailwind css Come inside your browser and paste it there. Then say Tailwind. Okay. Now that we are done with this one, we're going to initialize our Tailwind. Copy it. and come inside your browser and paste and say dash minus p so you can see telling this configure telling css and create report posts says config files then what the next step is that we are going to configure the source part the source file so going into telling config js and this is the file so what you're going to do is inside the content we are going to fill in with some information inside the content section then we are going to add two files which is going to be dot slash index dot html like this then add comma then come inside and add two files dot slash src slash star star slash star then dot open brackets and closing brackets inside type js comma ts comma jsx comma tsx like this so this is how your file will look like then just save the changes Now we're going to add Tailwind directives to your CSS. So 
what we're going to do go inside this file called index CSS so we're going to get some statements inside right at the top if it is a telling base it will tell in companies that it tell in utilities now once we're done, we're done with this one we can now go on to start our server which is going to be npm run dev now we need to go to our development server as you can see our server is at local host 5173 yes you can see this is all our development server that we have got we have successfully set up react using fight we can clear the retaining statement from line 9 this one line 10 this one and we can replace it with h1 text then let me say welcome okay i'm just going to say how how to set up React up using fight. Then you can come and check what happens on our. They can see we have we have we have just changed. So I can now I now want to style this one. So I'm going to say inside the brackets we're going to say let's give it a class name. We are going to increase the text to uh, let's say three x tricks large. Let's also give it a font of bold underline and let's say text to the center. Now come and check inside your browser. They can see this is this is the text that you've changed. You can see how we have tempered with this text. So this was it. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.